Um, Hi. <laughs> uh, this is the first time uh, of uh, coming. Um, this is what Lou and John looks like. Uh, we do these um, pretty regularly. Yep. John works um, for the website as a counsellor. Uh, I've got a private practice, mm -hmm. so I do a lot of counselling of different issues. But you tend to um, exclusively either have uh, counselling with drinkers or their families. Yes. Yeah. Can you can you just uh, give us a bit of history of your interaction of working with people um, with issues and training people with issues? Kind of, uh, w what's your background in this? Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I've worked with people for so much of my life, you mm -hmm. know. I mean, years ago I trained as a psychiatric nurse, so that was actually working with people and working with, um, um, you know, mental issues. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I did that for many years. Uh, I worked in acute psychiatry for quite a long time, you mm -hmm. know, and part of my job was actually to um, was counselling people. Um, when I got sober, actually, I, I started groups in AA and um, I was a sponsor to quite a lot of people and, mm. you know, uh, I didn't, that wasn't something I sought, but something that a lot of people came to me. Mm. Well, whilst you're here, actually, mm -hmm. um, we're talking about AA because we, we have great respect for AA, don't we? But oh, we, we have a slightly different... A kind of program emphasis, don't we? It's, it's like everything else, you know. I mean, I support AA. I don't agree with every single thing it says, mm. you know, but that's another matter, you mm. know. Uh, it doesn't mean that I have any less respect for it. Yeah. yeah. So um, so that's definitely played into your approach to, to looking at drink and, and um, helping people with drink. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I do think that the programme of Alcoholics Anonymous has been enormously helpful for many, many people. And I, I would say it actually probably saved my life. Yeah. How the, the, the some of the ethos of AA, I'm kind of a wee bit if he was, but, um, but, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. the, the general principles, yes, I am very, very much in favor. And certainly would say if people want support and, uh, you know, to go to a group would give them a, a lot of support and, and help, so. Yeah, I, again, absolutely. You know, I, I mean, I met some great people who were really helpful in AA. Mm -hmm. You know, I met some people who were less helpful in AA, but that's life, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes you've got to sort of, you know, what is it they say? You've got to kiss a lot of frogs to find a prince. Mm -hmm. You know, and I, I had to try a few AA meetings before I found one that actually suited me. Mm. You know, I found an awful lot that didn't suit me, particularly when I didn't want to go. Mm. You know, um, um, and then I know you've done some training, so tell us a little bit because you then uh, you went uh, from one to one, yeah, uh, and then you um, worked in the university. Um, yeah, I worked in university. I, yeah. I trained in psychology. I got a degree in psychology. Then I went on and got a doctorate in psychology. Um, I, um, I actually created um, treatment programs for uh, a, for um, rehabs, mm -hmm. uh, and then I evaluated uh, treatment programs in other rehabs. Um, uh, so I've been mentor to sort of lots of students, I was a supervisor, I was a PhD supervisor for quite a long time, you know, doing So how is coming across the, 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 this is a specialist subject, my counselling lots of issues in my specialist subject. Specialist and subject <laughs> is how great I am, you know? <laughs> that's what it's coming across like, but, uh, yeah. but yeah, th th that's the way it is. I mean, for a long time, I didn't want to work in the alcohol field at all. Mm. I wanted to be a proper psychologist, but every time I started to walk away from it, you know, uh, doors closed, and every time I came back to it, doors opened. Mm. And, and I know you hate talking about yourself, but I think it. Um, this is a really deep issue where people feel very unsafe, and I think it's important uh, if they pluck up the courage yeah. to, to come to you, um, that they know that you've got some decent understanding of the sort of complex issues because it's very complex the, the whole issue really of drinking and it is a very living with a drinker. Issue. I mean, uh, uh, as I was saying to somebody yesterday, you know, you, you can't just uh, write a prescription and say, you know, take this three times a day and everything will be well. It's not like that. Mm. There are certain patterns within, um, you know, patterns of behaviour that you kind of observe in almost every situation, but there are different nuances because people are different. Mm. Situations are different, you know. Mm. People's thresholds are different. Thresholds of uh, uh, amount of alcohol that they can stand and thresholds of the amount of behaviour consequences that they can stand, you know. 
Um, so, yeah, they've got to work within these sort of parameters. Mm. And, uh, and that, 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 that's a delicate balance sometimes. I mean, I, I really admire him because, you know, you, you just get often phone call after phone call um, with lots of different, often very chaotic issues. I get a chance to go through kind of for, for session after session and really work through it. And you like doing that. You, you like doing a few at a time if you can, don't you? Yes. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I do. Um, and, and sometimes I, 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 I'm a wee bit sad sometimes that I don't see the end results. Mm -hmm of things that you know we do and and it would be nice to do sometimes when you do this following people up you know there's a, there's a beginning a middle and an end but most of the time what i'm doing is crisis intervention yeah i know we, you've had one or two that you've taken on quite a journey watch yeah. them get sober and, yeah and that's, been really... I, I, and that's that, yeah that's very satisfying that yeah. you know because you then <clears throat> excuse me you build a relationship over time you know, and uh, and it's great to see uh, how that turns out, you know. Often, though, um, people come, um, I mean, you've had them from all over the world, haven't you? I have, yes. 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 <laughs> that, that's the wonder of, um, you know, Skype and Zoom, you yeah. know, that it doesn't really matter. It's, you know, and, and anybody who looks at my calendar, um, when they look at it, what they do, they see is my availability in their time zone. Yeah, if you're looking this up, just be yeah. aware of that. Because yeah. you do Australia, States, yep. Malaysia, yeah. you know, done yeah. some in South America, I think, too. And, you know, yep. it is kind of, uh, <laughs> yep. it's kind of of interest us today. John is going to be in. It is, yes. A council of the world, you know, <laughs> international <laughs> council. Global councillor, yes. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, so, so all, how do they... All from my own coach. Yes, I know, that's the one of it. I mean, we do have to yeah. obviously um, see people face to face, less yeah. so because of um, um, COVID at the moment. Yeah, but, it's um, been less, yeah. 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 So, so how do they do it? How, how do they get hold of you? What do they do? Tell me practically what they have to do to book a, a session. I think, just go on the website, there's a page that says one-to-one -one with John, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, just as one-to-one, you know, and you mm -hmm. go in there... Uh, just read the instructions. Mm -hmm. um, there's a calendar there. You just book a session, mm. and that's it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, it. One or two, please. Let's just talk about the practicalities. There's one or two things that really help your life in mm -hmm. counselling. Uh, uh, yeah. Things that they do. Just, just say what are the things that people forget to do, and that you really would be grateful if they did do. Send me a Skype address. <laughs> no, um, I. It's. Five minutes before we start is not a great time to send it because very often I'm going from one to a, a, another one, you know. Yes. And yeah, people might not have anything else to do in their lives, but, I, you know, when you've got four or five in one day, you know, in the last yes. ones, you haven't got a Skype address for yes. it. It's really I mean, annoying. To do, if you're doing this, think, think this through, because it's the same with me. I get Zoom links. Yeah. Um, but, you know, once you start counselling in a day, you don't take 20 minutes off to make sure your next no, client no. sent you a link. So sending a link, you know, with as much time ahead as possible yeah. really makes our life less stressful. I mean, we sometimes, we, we, you'll sit there and, and, you know, kind of sometimes an hour before you'll be saying, I've not heard anything yet. No, you know, so, yeah. so, so we kind of do a countdown with some people. So if yeah. you could do that, you, the instructions are there, aren't they? Oh, well, the instructions are there. You yeah. know? And then there's an email goes out as well, sure. which says, this is important, you know. Um, so, and very often I have to, you know, resend that email. Uh, and sometimes I even have to end up phoning them up and saying, look, I need a way of communicating with you. Yes. Um, you know, so that, that that's difficult. The other things that are, um, make it useful, uh, sorry, make it uh, easier is uh, turning up on time. Yeah. Especially if, you know, I've got somebody at two o'clock and then somebody at three o'clock, you know, the mm, turning up on time is good because otherwise I can't sort of extend the, no. the session. So if you're 10 minutes late, I can't go until 10 past three. No, you that's, know, that's if you want to go yes. straight into the next uh, person. And again, that's really important. Not everybody's yeah. an exact timekeeper. Some people mm -hmm. are ish. <clears throat> but if you're doing counselling, um, yeah. then. So what we're going to do, we're going to do a little series now, obviously, if you come, it's confidential. John's not going to mention anybody, no, of course. No, no. That just it goes for the thing. But um, he's just going to pick up a few issues in the next few uh, videos as we go along. There'll be a little series. We tend to do series. Yeah. Just uh, teasing out some of the key things 
-hmm. that come to your counselling room over and over again. Yeah. Um, so come and join us for that because um, there'll be things probably that you struggle with. Yeah. Um, the other thing is it takes a lot of courage to reach out, mm -hmm. but do take the courage to do it. Yeah. Because one of the things we have to say as counsellors, we get uh, a lot of pain, trauma thrown in our direction, mm -hmm. but we're there, we can help you through it. You know, you don't have to be alone. Um, and it's a journey that you can go on. Therapeutic journey is yeah. a wonderful thing yeah. um, if you have a counsellor and you trust your counsellor. Yeah. A great deal can be accomplished. Yeah. So pluck up the courage and come. Uh, and um, The one thing I would say at the end of this is sure. I tend to work with drinkers. Yes. I tend to work with partners. I have also worked with parents. You know, I, I have worked with um, Adult children of yeah. alcoholics. Yeah. Um, you know, so I, I get... Quite a mixture. Generally, you know. it has to be eighteen over eighteen now because of uh, um, child yeah. protection and yeah. laws like that. We're not we don't we're not trained to do under 18s and you have yeah. to be very careful in the UK now yeah. if you work with children, which is totally understandable. Well, yeah, it has to be. So, yeah. yeah. Okay, so come and join us in our little series. Thank you mm -hmm. for listening, and here he is. Use him as a resource. Um, I yeah. heartily recommend him, although I am a little bit biased. Half-heartedly. No, I said heartily. Oh, sorry. I thought you said half -heartedly. No, yeah. no. It's heartily yeah. recommended. Okay, okay. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.